Hi there, this is Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to walk you through the new JD Beautiful World Earthy Tones. Now, you may remember there was an original product called JD Earthy Tones that came out in 2013. This is 100% new and different. This new pack is designed to create subtle, neutral tones so that you can really focus on just the subject. You can choose to use these tones subtly or make a big impact. All of the actions are completely customizable and non-destructive. All right, so let me show you an edit using these new earthy tones. First, I'm going to select the audition action, and this is going to go through and pull up all of the different tones. And now I have them in my layers palette. In order to see them, I'm gonna to need to turn the little eyeball on. So I'm going to just go up here and show you all the different tones that you can create. There's a variety of warm tones and cool tones and basically everything in between. You can mix and match these tones. You can have multiple tones up at once. You can lower the opacity of these tones. You can even go into the folders themselves to further customize the tone. Now, as we work our way to the top of our layers palette, you're going to see three actions that control contrast and saturation. Before using these, I first recommend that you pick a general tone that you like first. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Ash and Amber. And then I'm going to go to these different contrast and saturation adjustments and see how they look. The default opacity on these contrast adjustments is set to 50%, so feel free to either lower or raise the opacity to get more of the effect you're looking for. Once I've selected the tones that I'm going to use, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this menu here in the upper right, and I'm going to just discard any unused layers. And now I'm going to select this pop selective brush and using a soft white brush, I'm just going to paint into any of the areas where I want to sort of separate out my subject from the background by giving it a little more saturation and a little more color pop. I'll just turn that on and off so that you can see the difference. To finish this edit, I'm going to use a different Beautiful World product, this time the vignettes. And I'm going to select the Chocolate Milk vignette and run that, and you can see it's sort of giving it some nice shape and framing and depth. I'm going to lower the opacity here and possibly using a black soft brush, I'm gonna paint into that mask and remove a little bit of that vignette from my figure so that she doesn't darken down just the background behind her. Emphasizing my subject now with this new edit. And I did this by creating cohesive tones in the background and then simply adding more contrast and saturation to my main subject. So once again, here is our before and then here is our after using the Beautiful World Earthy Tints and a vignette. Thanks so much for watching.